morning everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in again now you're probably wondering that doesn't look like the interior of a Corolla and you're right it's not this is the interior of a 2006 Mercedes-Benz SLK 350 three and a half liter naturally aspirated V6 no I haven't stolen it so don't, don't assume that for a moment. I have been lent this car from a friend of mine who I happen to work with as well. Well, I did work with him until he uh, left. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other story. So I'm just uh, taking it for a spin to get my impressions. I'll tell you what I think of it. Already it's uh, a beautiful car to drive. I like the older cars like this because there's not a heap of sound deadening in them and you can hear things like the engine and the wind and the road. It sort of all helps with the connection with the car to the road. So I'm in uh, Bow Desert. For those of you playing at home, it's a uh, town south of uh, Brisbane. Got a population of uh, three people and 40 horses. earlier there are you can hear the road noise especially in a coarse chip road that's not so bad it's and it's not so bad that you're um, having to turn up the radio for example to um, hear over the top of it Mercedes-Benz SLK 350 uh, is in direct competition with the BMW Z4 and the Porsche Boxster. Not having driven them, I can't actually compare this car to them. I'd say that uh, judging on the reviews that I've read on this vehicle compared to those other cars, this one stacks up quite favourably. It's got the uh, retractable uh, electric hardtop. It looks really nice as well. It's a beautiful shape. The Porsche uh, Boxster soft top is very nice, as is the BMW Z4. Plus 
the acceleration as quite uh, substantial for this vehicle. It doesn't weigh very much. I think it's around 1,200 odd kilos, maybe 1,300 kilos. And it's uh, you can tell that V6, that three and a half litre V6, really does pull strongly, and it really, really suits this vehicle. And again, I can't help but uh, imagine what the SLK55 AMG would be like if this car accelerates this nicely and is this composed. How much better is the flagship? Wow. On a smooth, sorry, I can't even talk properly, on a smoothly paved road, not a coarse chip, but a nice smoothly paved road, this car is uh, no noisier than any other uh, sort of sedan, hatch, coupe of the era. I know that new cars have got uh, much better sound deadening in them, but that takes a lot away from the actual driving experience in my opinion. So uh, I'd rather a little bit of road noise, a little bit of wind noise, a little bit of tyre noise, just to have that sort of connected feeling to the car and to the road. The car is very compliant. Now as far as road feel goes, as far as the ride quality I should say, this is a simpler sort of ride quality to the Corolla of mine, the Sportivo with uh, coilovers. So you're not in a, a, a massive uh, luxury sedan with a huge long wheelbase and big uh, squishy suspension to stop up all the bumps. So you are going to feel a lot coming through the road. Uh, but that sort of adds to the uh, appeal of this kind of uh, roadster uh, vehicle. Right. What I didn't actually just catch on film then was uh, doing 100 kilometres an hour, which is the posted speed limit, and a kangaroo that was on the side of the road decided he wanted to be on the road in front of this car. And I will say that I... Uh, threw out everything to pull this car up, just missed the kangaroo, everything that was on the passenger seat is in the passenger footwell, I cannot believe I missed that kangaroo, it was literally by centimetres, far out, I'll tell you what, it's bad enough when you're driving your own car and a kangaroo jumps out in front of you, but when you're test driving someone else's car and that kangaroo jumps out in front of you that's not a good feeling holy crap I think I might have uh, I think a bit of poo came out there I'm going to have to pull over and uh, check I think something's got past the keeper and it's hit the back of the net Anyway, the brakes on this car are good if you're wondering, you know, I can, uh, <laughs> I can tell you firsthand that the brakes on this car are as adequate as the acceleration. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to uh, just cruise back and uh, count my blessings. See you later.